In the meantime, a special commission set up to investigate the financial meltdown is holding its first set of hearings this week. It kicked off yesterday with the grilling of four top bankers. CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes has, now more, has more now from Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Russ, good morning. This commission is modeled after the 9-11 commission tasked with getting to the bottom of what went wrong. So naturally, the first people they wanted to hear from were those large financial firms that got so much government money. It was reckoning day for the heads of the biggest banks in America. Somehow we just missed uh, you know, that home prices don't go up forever. Commissioners demanded to know why the banks had played with fire, selling risky and complicated investments while simultaneously placing bets on their failure. It sounds to me a little bit like selling a car with faulty brakes and then buying an insurance policy on the buyer of those cars. Lloyd Blankfein, chairman and CEO of Goldman Sachs, spent the most time under the microscope. Blankfein was asked several times how his company would have fared without 10 billion in taxpayer dollars. He hedged. I can't say here and tell you what would have happened, and I know for sure no one else knows either. And what about those huge new bonuses all the banks are giving? We understand the anger felt by many citizens, the bank CEOs insist, though, that they have reformed their pay structures, tying more pay to equity so employees have a stake in the long-term health of their firms. Russ. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thank you very much.